The deadly Ebola virus can hide in the brain and launch a counterattack months after successful treatment. This scary but very real scenario was recently uncovered in a groundbreaking study. Scientists have discovered how the Ebola virus can persist in certain areas of the body and re-emerge after a while to cause fatal disease. This is actually happening even when patients receive treatment with monoclonal antibodies. In other words, the person doesn't have to be reinfected through human-to-human -human transmission. Instead, the virus will hide in plain sight inside the body, evading the immune system only to reinfect the body at a later stage. This is a major setback to Ebola vaccination efforts and monoclonal antibody therapy. Scientific research had led in recent years to the adoption of two vaccines and two monoclonal antibody therapeutics for Ebola. But what happens if all existing therapies do not fully eliminate the virus? In the experiment, scientists monitored the disease's progress and recovery in monkeys treated with monoclonal antibodies. A monoclonal antibody is an antibody made by cloning a unique white blood cell. All subsequent antibodies can be traced back to a unique parent cell. These lab-produced molecules are engineered to restore, enhance, modify, or mimic the immune system and fight disease. The monoclonal antibody therapy successfully cleared the virus infection from all organs except the brain ventricular system, in which the cerebrospinal fluid is produced, circulated, and contained. Scientists found traces of Ebola RNA and antigens in the brain ventricles. Other monkey and human studies have shown that the virus can also persist in other parts of the body, such as the eyes, brain, and testes. This is a very alarming development because it not only leads to fatal disease in the patient, but can also start another community outbreak, causing thousands of infections and deaths. Ebola is one of the deadliest infectious diseases known to humankind. In 2014, the world's worst Ebola outbreak began in Guinea and West Africa. It infected around 28,600 people and killed more than 11,300 people as it swept through Liberia, Guinea, and Sierra Leone. It is still a major threat in Africa, and there were three different outbreaks in Africa in 2021 alone. But where did this deadly virus come from? Fruit bats are the most likely natural carriers of Ebola. Ebola is introduced into the human population through close contact with bodily fluids, such as the blood and secretions, as well as the organs of infected animals. Previous outbreaks show that the virus has devastated human, chimpanzee, and gorilla populations as well. Forest antelope and porcupines were also found ill or dead in the rainforest. But now, human-to-human -human transmission is the main cause for the continuing outbreak. Half of the people who caught the disease have died, which means that Ebola has one of the highest fatality rates compared to other viruses. Existing vaccines and monoclonal antibody therapeutics put us in a much better position to contain outbreaks. However, it is very important to make sure healthcare workers follow up with Ebola virus survivors in the long term.